Yeah, see, but if you don't get to- if you don't take this one, you're pretty much destined to lose. Hopefully the speedway section is like a one done kind- or uh, the uh, time trial. Buddy Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 13 of Spyro and to the Dragonfly. So today we'll be taking a magic carpet ride, which apparently turned invisible, to the Thieves' Den. <clears throat> which, okay, still a better loading screen than a few of the levels we had. We're also exactly 75% done the game considering I'm missing three dragonflies in the in or four dragonflies in the entire game. The one drum one. You guys already know what it's like. Uh, we did try the tank ones, they're extremely janky and not fun to do, and then the one that was bug. So, what do we have here for collectibles? We have only 700 gems, and then obviously 10, so... Oh yeah, and you can see 75% down in the bottom left. Um, this level is... Ugh. Hang on, I have a hair stuck to my tongue, which is not great for recording. I was gonna say, this level isn't very good. It does run better than a lot of the levels, and does look pretty cool. But it's honestly... Yeah, that's one of the things, I mean... Oh wait, are you gonna tell me that the gems... It's rumored that certain root ducks in there are immune to dragon breath. Yeah, with wing shield, and... Oh, now I have to talk to you? The Riptock Wizards have turned our treasure into monsters! Can you do anything to help us? I guess. Why am I helping you guys? You guys have been stealing the dragon eggs for centuries. Also, what's with the giant jade axes swinging back and forth? I always find it funny that, like, they're added so many axes and stuff to Spyro all of a sudden. Yeah, those guys. That's your mission, is to kill them. And you need to use the wing shield, which, by the way, is extremely hit, hit or miss, and... Yeah, so you just kind of gotta wait and hope that you're aiming at the in the right direction. Yeah, and there's ten of them, too. It's not like there's just one or two. Also, I hate that these gems are enemies. Like, it makes it super annoying. Also, that was the way it came from, right? Okay, just making sure. What is with the water and the ripple effects? Like, where do those ripple effects exactly come from? It's more like the Ripto effect, am I right? Also, there are enemy baskets. Oh, yeah, there. As soon as I seen a basket that seemed out of place, it's like, oh yeah, there's enemy baskets. Also, the axes don't hurt you in this. They just push you to the side. Which I always thought kind of funny. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, they're hit, like the angles that you have to do it at are kind of weird. You gotta hope that you're aiming the right way. And there we go, we got another one. I still can't believe there's ten of these guys all together. That's ridiculous. Also, the music here is really weird. I think the wizards leave behind their sound effects when they die, because I can still hear them. Also, there's going to be a lot of these, like, there's an area in this level that is notorious for getting the gems because it's, like, so, like, out of place that it just, you wouldn't suspect it. Also, they should really put these, uh, basket enemies, you know, maybe next to baskets. Also, they don't hurt you. Only the wizards here hurt you. Like, nothing in this level really inflicts pain or suffering on you. Other than the tediosity that is waiting for the friggin', um, wing shield to work properly. Um, I think we got all the gems in this room, so we'll take the whirlwind up. We're out of this little gold trove. Don't even know what you want to call it. Oh, it looks like we got another wizard. This isn't Wizard Peak, so what do you do? Remember how I said, like, it's really weird? Like, the hitbox? Yeah. Like, it keeps aiming over to the left, which is really weird, considering that's not even remotely where we were, like, angled, but sure. So you kind of got to go with that, so like if you seem to like the it, shooting to the left, you got to move more to the right. If it's shooting to the right, you got to move more to the left, you know? The worst part about those um, green gem enemies that walk around is that when you kill them, they go flying. So then you got to kind of backtrack to get, or like forward track to get the gem. Or whatever you want to call it. You know, see how it like bounces around? If it hits the surface, it bounces back and stuff like that. 
Because this feels really weird. Like, it feels like there's supposed to be more going on in this room than there really is. You can't tell me that they just added a bunch of just random stuff. Also, one of these has got to be not fake, apparently. Also, we're finding a decent amount of gems, considering, uh, you know... Oh, that's actually deep. And not enough to dive, but enough where you can't walk on it anymore. And it's just, uh... Wait. Oh, thank god, if it falls through the floor, it automatically comes back to you. I was, like, about to have a panic attack there that we're not going to get 100% because the gem decided to fall through the floor. It's been a few days since I recorded, so this game is, uh... Okay, so we need to go slightly more to the right. Oh, wait, no, it looks like we need to go more to the left, apparently. Are you serious? Because Spyro can't move as soon as he falls, that it was literally just, I had to take damage. I wonder if, I wonder if here is fine. Hurry up. How did that not do anything, you know? Oh, it's bouncing behind me, which is really weird. Also, it sometimes has the sound effect that he's attacking you, and then he's not, so it kind of throws you for a loop. Also, are there any bats around here? God, the, the music here is just so weird. It's Like I said, it's their voice, because they kind of like talk. They, go, they do some kind of weird magical chant. Also, where are we supposed to go in here? Oh, hang on, let's grab this bat first. I think I know where we're supposed to go. I think that spot up here, we're supposed to go to the left. Ah, yeah, there we go. Also, that fodder is kind of in a weird spot. Also, I'm pretty sure this one has another speedway. Pretty sure that's one of the uh, dragon points. Also, that's another thing. We've been through a good chunk of this level and have yet to see a single dragonfly, and there's still ten. But if a speedway ha is, is in this level, then that's two, right? So, then that leaves whatever other ones exist. Also, you can technically tell the fake gems from the real gems, because the real gems have a shine to them. Wait, I can go that way or I can go up the stairs. Okay. Oh, this might be for a dragonfly. Yeah, I see, like, the, uh, that one right there doesn't have the uh, sparkle effect, so you can tell it's a fake. Also, Sparks doesn't like to pick up the gem right away. Also, those ones are lighter when they're enemies. They didn't do a very good job making them mimic enemies, but... Oh, I see. So let's change to our uh, Buble Breath. And a gold gem that's actually a gold gem. And there we go! We got Charlotte. Hey, it's Charlotte! Right, let's go and grab this life, because I'm pretty sure we're going to die here. I'm pretty sure there's also another tower challenge here. I'm pretty sure that's the other, um... The what you call it? The other, um... Minigame portal. Challenge portal? No, they're not challenge portals. Those are like the breath challenges, so... I don't know what you call them in this game. I killed them by facing the wrong way. Nice. Normally I'd complain about weird physics and things like that, but nope. We're halfway done, and yeah, I recommend just... Actually, I think no matter what, you don't have to kill them again. They never respawn again. I'm pretty sure that's how those guys work. I am still paranoid that those are going to fall through the floor like they did earlier. Oh. And once again, the dragonflies are all kind of close together. Because that one's close to the last one we just got that was over here. So, why oh why do they do that? I don't know. Oh, can get him. I, I'm hope- oh god, there's the challenge portal over there. There we go, we got him! It's Jordan! Oh god, there's so much, like, sound going on that it's just messing with everything. Wait. Can he hit me from here, by the way? I don't think he can. Kill him! Nah, I knew that wasn't gonna work, but, you know, it's worth a try anyway. No, that was too far to that one direction. Not like the band either. 
Oh, come on, Bandito Lizarino. Okay, why do they all keep going that way? That's just getting annoying at this point. Like, like why does it keep going to the same side? Dude. Just die already, please. Like, where am I supposed to aim this one? You know what? I'm just gonna grab these gems first before I get too frustrated dealing with this guy. Because it's just absolutely annoying. Plus, I want a different camera angle, so I want to be kind of from behind. Yeah, give me your gem. Also, there could be a Zoe down here for all we know. Also, the lack of music down here is kind of weird and eerie. It makes it sound like you're going to some kind of, like, hardcore dungeon. Oh, it's just another one of them. Now, I, I think it's the end of the level, kind of like what Honey Marsh does, where things get really, really weird. Oh, yeah, one of those was the gems from the enemy we killed. Alright. Take two, Bubba. This has got to be a good spot right here. Nope, it's not a good spot, apparently. Okay, why do they all keep going to the left? I want them to go to the right. Oh, wait a minute, that's almost perfect. No, that's way too far to the left again. Right. Is it based off of, like, where it hits your wing shield? So, like, if I'm directly facing him, will it... Wait, if I do this... Will that angle it? It does! So if I go like this, it should angle towards them. Okay, that was almost perfect. Just need to be to the right or to the left a little more. Or maybe to the right a little more? I don't know. Um... We figured it out, but for whatever reason, it's just not... It's just not hurting them, which is kind of an issue, by the way. Okay, the, the axes in the background are kind of causing the, uh, there we go, are c causing the camera angles to get all weird. Now we do want to go over here, though. So let's check out what the heck this is by taking a dip through the portal. Let's go. And we just flew into the wall. We didn't even go down the hallway. We just straight up flew into the wall. This is a good time to have a drink of Pepsi. Sponsored by Pepsi Cola. No, not really. We only found 231 gems. Really? Oh, it's the speedway. Alright, let's race the thieves, cause, yeah, let's get this out of the way. See, normally I'd recommend doing the, uh, speedway, or, like, the minigames afterward, but this level is kind of weird that way, where it doesn't really matter. Like, the second half of the game, they really changed, like, how the game plays, and also, how the heck did that miss? It kind of homed in on that guy. Oh, I can technically take this shortcut over here it looks like oh yeah that was that was a good shortcut I, I will admit though the music here is actually pretty good and the level design in the actually the level in general like not include not just including the speedway but the actual physical level is actually really cool like it's a really interesting spiral level. I can't complain about how they designed the level, it's just, the the game itself is just poorly optimized. That's what held back so much of this. You had a cool beach level, you had like, you have like a Jurassic jungle level, you have all this cool stuff, and then, you know, it just gets ruined by the fact that the game bugs out or freezes or does things like that, and, wait, how are we only third place? Despite, um, you know, taking a shortcut in order to be on lap three, like, once we get here. We literally did not miss a single booster, and we can't go literally any faster. But once you catch up to the- oh, I guess, like, I guess they're just all kind of, like, clustered together, right? Whoa. Oh, I might fail now that I got that- wait. 
That guy wasn't technically second place either. This guy's gotta be... Wait, why did I have a missile? I think we failed by not getting that one star. I really feel like that's gonna be what it comes down to, is we failed due to that one star, because I don't even see the first place guy. Oh, that's him right there, and apparently he got a speed boost from something. Wait a minute. I want to see something. There was that one pyramid that he had a speed boost behind, right? And I'm super confused to why... Uh, he technically... Had a speed boost. Also, I missed that one again. Poop. Poop on a rope. It was the one after this one, right? Right, so the tighter you cut corners, though, the better. And see, that one that we see there wasn't even technically third place, so... No, there's no... I don't think there's any speed boost behind any of this. So that one was just, like, really, really fast for no reason. Okay, so can you actually hit him, please? Thank you, and that slows him down drastically. It's just, they don't home in worth a darn in this game like they did in the original. In the original, you could technically, um... You know, like, shoot him from across the map and it would technically hit the one in front of you. In this game, not so much. And that's not third pl or uh, second place. That's um, last place. Because for whatever reason, you can catch up to them super quickly. But the rest of them, not so much. I'm pretty sure he's the one we need. Right? Right, dude? Yeah, because there's a slower one there, too. And I don't think it's that slower one. Wait, did you see that? It just straight up, um... Wait, what? How do we miss that ring? Alrighty, this minigame... I don't know. It's way too close of a call for the, uh... For the race, you know? Okay, so that one homed in on him. So it seems better if we just straight up fire them right away, like when we see an enemy. But we only get one rocket. Because if we take... What? Alrighty, um, I'm confused. Though I am glad I picked this one to do instead of the, uh, time trial, that's for sure. Because time trials honestly aren't that bad. In any Spyro game. Like, let's be real there, like, they're, they're not bad at all. They're not amazing, but they're not bad. Is it me, or do I have to keep cutting that way closer than I thought? Also, how come that guy isn't fourth place? Or, uh, third place? Like, how do you catch up to the first enemy that fast? Like, it makes no sense how you catch up to that one so much faster than any other one in this level. Like... And see, we can't even shoot the next one yet because they're so drastically different in, like, position. It's not like the other Spyro games, like in the main series where you're doing races. They're so drastically spread out that it makes no sense. Like, did they not start the race equally, man? And that's like last place again. Like, how many times do we have to keep passing that one enemy? Wait! It just completely zoomed past that enemy and hit that pyramid. This is what I mean about beating this. Oh my god, it just doesn't hit them. 
I don't know how I'm supposed to get first place if the enemies are, like, that fast. I haven't failed at all. Alrighty. Oh! It's behind the lighthouse! Okay, I think I know how to do this now. It's behind the lighthouse. I didn't know it was behind the lighthouse. I thought it was behind something else. So we'll have to take the lighthouse one. This one we can just straight up shoot at this guy to slow him right down. Which then means we're going to pass him about 100,000 times in this uh, minigame. I feel like sometimes these stars like boost you way faster than need be. But also, like this this guy not give you... Okay, no, he does give you fourth place. But it's, it's as soon as you go down here. So, technically speaking, what you want to do is you want to go around the lighthouse. Oh, there it is! Oh, I see now. And that's already third place. Just because we took the lighthouse. Even though it feels like we're going way out of position. That is good to know. That is really good to know. I thought that there was something behind a pyramid, because that's what it looked like at the beginning, but turns out it wasn't. It was behind the lighthouse. Oh yeah, see that one right... Oh, okay. Apparently now we're gonna lose because we missed that one, because life is pain in this game. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, Let's give up again. I also forgot about the lighthouse again. See, so yeah, the rest of this episode will probably just be this, and maybe a little more exploring, depending on how long I want to record this episode for. Uh, because while I'm having fun, it is a little frustrating. I do like the PNG of a moon in the background, though. It's, this is kind of pretty. Is the song saying you are you in the background? I don't actually even know what it's saying. It says something. I don't know if it's even English or if it's even a language. I, I really feel like it's you are you. Also, it kind of sucks you down. Like, there's a specific height limit to that spot. And like I said, we'll get to third place just from this lap alone. I feel like getting that missile might actually slow you down because you go slightly to the left, and I don't know if that technically will slow you down or not. <laughs> the, the banjo and the guitar is just so funny in this song. Or in this, uh, music. I don't know what you want to call it. Song, music, disco, disco, fever, A, A. Disco, disco, A, A. Yeah, see, like, you can't go up when you're there. You just immediately... Oh, because I think this one's a huge boost. That, yeah, that one's a huge, just straight-up boost. And this is obviously last place again. So he doesn't matter. Because you pass last place, like, what, two or three times in this? Which is pretty funny, considering, like, in most of the Spyro games, you don't. Now, I can't tell if he... No! Are you serious? He didn't go through the ring? We had him! He takes that shortcut too at the end! Okay, so we'll grab this one quickly. And we'll completely botch it by... Actually, it doesn't even really matter, because it doesn't... He's like, you hit him right there anyway! So, it really doesn't matter. But this time, please don't fail. Like, that one should not have been a fail. I don't know how that one ended up as a failed attempt, but it did, just because he didn't register that stupid ring. Yeah, see, but if you don't get to- if you don't take this one, you're pretty much destined to lose. Hopefully the speedway section is like a one-and-done kind- or uh, the uh, time trial is a one-and-done kind of thing. The song is saying you are you. Like, I'm not going crazy. That song in the background is saying you are you. 
And how come that ring registered even though it was on the outside of it? So, I don't know. It's this ring in particular. This is like the boss of the entire game right here. Also, I realized when playing, because I had to come back to, or get to this level before recording, the final boss of the game is open. Like, we can actually go to the final boss now if we wanted to. I think it required exactly 75 dragonflies. I'm pretty sure that's how many it required. At least that's what it seems like. Okay, there's the first place one. Yeah, so he takes literally every single speed boost too. So he's going to be a little bit of a pain in the booty. We had almost passed him in that in that one run though. Yeah, see, because he's going to take a, a, a nose dive down here. I think they get a slightly less boost, or a smaller boost than you. Yeah, see, because he slows down when going upward, and then that'll allow you, if you take this one, to stay ahead of him. You literally have to take every speed boost. That is insane. But we got it. No. Your time, best time. Ooh, we cut six seconds off of that. Alrighty, um, what's our dragonfly's name? Neo! Hey, it's Neo! Nice. Thanks for Neo. Alright, on to the time attack. Also, unlike other Spyro games, like, the timer starts immediately. It doesn't even give you time. Also, unlike the Reignited Trilogy, this one technically still has animated little pictures there for the items you're collecting. Wait, I'm pretty sure this one's easy, because now we can go do the Cobras, which are pretty cool. I like Cobras. They're an interesting snake, but they still have hitboxes even when they're dead, so you gotta watch out for that, which will really throw you for a loop in this game. See, in the original Spyro games and Hero's Tale, enemies don't have hitboxes once they're killed. Like, they technically vaporize immediately, but in this, for whatever reason, they still have hitboxes. And I'm pretty sure we can supercharge these camels, right? Yeah, we can supercharge the camels. And these guys are actually really spread out. Holy cow. Oh yeah, and then we still have to kill the uh, thieves on the magic carpets. Or they're probably Riptox now that I think about it. The thieves you just race, because the races aren't actually the bad guys. You never race bad guys, because like in Spyro 3 you race butterflies, you race, um... Who do you race in the farm one? Um... Oh yeah, you race the flying pigs. Anyways, where are the other enemies? Where are the other enemies, by the way? Man, where are they? I cannot see the uh, flying carpets anymore. Where, where are they? Like, where are these guys? Hello, enemies. Where are you? I'm gonna lose because I don't know where the enemies are. Like, I just straight up do not know where the uh, flying carpets are. Oh, they're at the lighthouse. Okay. Good to know. We can do it again. Oh, I think you're supposed to do the rings, them, the cobras, and then the camels. Because I think whatever order they show it listed is technically the fastest way, unless you're playing Spiral 1. Spiral 1's kind of weird that way, with things being kind of... Wait, what are these guys? They're not really thieves or Riptox, they're like jester looking mofos. And once again, their hitboxes are really jankydelic. Oh. Also, can you actually hit them when I flame them, please? Like... Seriously, that one's gonna get me every single time, isn't it? This is gonna be a pain in my butt. Alright, now we need to turn around quickly and get this one... That is flying away on me again. Okay, you know what? I gotta fail, because that one is just... That one's just screwing with me way too hard.
This is gonna be a big file to upload. Because unlike people like Noofy Bongo been Let's Playing Forever, the quality of their videos kinda, I feel like, went downhill. Like the, um, he never has it so you can watch in 1080p. All my videos you can watch in 1080p, except for when I was first messing with this and realized it was my video editor that was preventing me from putting it in uh, uh, 1080p. See, because you need to at least get one of each of these waves in a drive-by. That way you can just only have to do it twice. And now we only need one more, and yeah, see, they were all perfectly spread out like that. And now we need the uh, Cobras, which are over here. My only issue with this game is a lot of this stuff is just really spread out. And they don't give you time, so you have to be very precise. It's like every Spyro game, I think, other than three, gave you time when defeating enemies or like getting rings or arches or chests or whatever's in the, the speedway. But we should be good. But like what I said is like these camels are extremely spread out. Hopefully that doesn't screw us. This means this one will be closer. They're also single humped camels with two legs. I think it's kind of a reference to the camel enemies that were in Scorch and Spyro 2, which we will be getting soon, or getting to soon on the Reignited playthrough. I'm really getting tired of the song saying you are you in the background. Like, let, let's be real. I feel like I'm going to spend more time here than any other level, even though I'm really not. It just feels like that way, you know? And we have 10 seconds to get this last camel, and Camel Strike! We did it! 9 seconds to spare. Boom. Problem solved. Funny thing is, they don't give you gems in this, they just give you Dragonfly. Anyways, the last Dragonfly of this episode is... Copper Top. Hey, it's Copper Top. Even though it's blue. If it was an orange or red, it would at least made some sense. And no. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Patreon and Discord in the link below. Remember, you guys can pick which game we play next. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.